This is another tombstone duplication glitch that's very easy to do. This glitch does not require a scorcher or spending essence using the teleport, so anyone struggling with the timing on those should be able to do this very easily. You will be able to duplicate your entire inventory and your gear, including your weapons and you will keep the ether blade. All you will need for this is a blood burner key to duplicate. And if you beat the second mission in Act 4 already, then the portal we are going to will spawn by itself. But if you haven't, you'll need to activate it before the game that you play. And anyone can do this, but you just need to activate it before you start your game so the portal will spawn. Bring a key so that you can first set up the tombstone with it so you can duplicate one and use every single game. The setup for this glitch requires that you drink the tombstone. Work and to make it easier you can just duplicate the can till you can have one in your inventory to use every single game. You just need to get the tombstone perk equipped. If you don't have a tombstone set already on your map that doesn't change the steps for this glitch, but if you do, you want to make your way over to it. You will need to clear your inventory so that you can crumble your tombstone. At your tombstone you're going to take all of the items out. Now that you have your tombstone crumbled and you have all of your items in your inventory and you have your spare blood burner key, you want to make way over to this location on the map. Now that we are in this location on the map, first I will show you the exact steps so you know exactly what to do. So when you drive the blood burner onto water and get off of it, the bike will teleport back onto land wherever you left it. You will need to get off of the bike and then quickly get back on so that you teleport with the bike like you see here, so you get the entire glitch perfect parked exact in the same spot like you see me doing right here, and you're going to drive into the water. You will also need to be looking at the bike before you get off of it, otherwise it'll teleport without you. But as you can see, if you put everything together you will teleport back with the bike right into this spot. Now the out of bounds barrier is this big flat rock this is the landmark to use for finding the out of bounds efficiently so you know where to go to get the timing perfectly. Now you should have the tombstone perk equipped, all the items that you want to duplicate, and the blood burner in this location, and now you're ready to go to start the glitch. From this spot, you want to drive into the water and follow the river. You want to make sure that you do not touch any land at this point while driving to the tier 3 zone or it will mess up the glitch, so just stay right in the middle of the water so you don't get into the shallow parts at all. Now keep following this path along the river until we get over to the bridge going to the tier 3 zone, it is important to park your bike exactly where I do, on the rock so that it will teleport correctly. You're going to get off of the bike and just run up to the Act 4 portal. Decoy grenades will definitely help you and make your process so much easier at this point, so if you brought them then this becomes super easy to do. Just throw one and you're good to go. You're going to activate the portal and then sprint back over to your blood burner and you're going to get onto the bike. Then you're going to back up into the water, and once you're in deep water, you're going to look at the bike, get off of it, then quickly get back on so that you'll be on the bike when it teleports. It will then take you back to that same spot on the map, and sometimes you may be under the map. All you have to do is just get off of the bike and it'll spawn you normally back on top of the ground. At this point you can go to the flat rock I showed you earlier and you will open up your map to vote yes to teleport. Anyways, when the timer on your screen is switching from 7 to 6 or right as the 6 is showing, you are going to go out of bounds and wait for the game to teleport you then eliminate you. After that you should get a black screen and when it says Dark Ether Zombies in the top left corner on all platforms you should force quit your game if you get a different screen after the eliminated screen then force quit and you should be fine. Also you can do this glitch with a squad. All you should do is have them wait by the out of bounds and everyone will go into the barrier when the timer shows 6 and everyone will force quit their game. When your game reloads you will have all of the items in your inventory, your gear and weapons and even your ether blade. Now when you load into another game, you can see that my tombstone is set at the graveyard and all of the items that I have in my inventory are duplicates so I am free to use them. This is why I suggest putting a tombstone can in your inventory to duplicate every single time. Also, the scorcher is not required because you can just duplicate the blood burner key. Thank you for watching this video. Like this video and subscribe to help support the channel and for more glitches. I will see you guys next time.